Uh, yeah, we need to do more to protect everyone who calls Providence home. We need to, um, you know, that that's, can start by taking out the criminal penalties that are in our municipal code. Uh, no one needs to have a record for an infraction like uh, walk in the streets with an open container, right? That is not, those, those policies disproportionately affect homeless people. It's time that we took that out of the equation. Um, you know, we also, we need to do more to um, stand up for programs that serve people, right? We, um, rather than giving meters, right, we need to focus on support for people who have drug addiction problems, support, long-term support for uh, people who have um, mental health issues, right? Like, we need to look holistically and, like, raise up the community organizations that are doing good work we need to work, at, make make partnerships between those organizations, local city government and state state government, to make sure that we're getting those programs to reach everyone who needs them. I will also say that there's strategies in other states. Uh, Massachusetts has a policy like this. Chicago has a policy like this, where people who are facing homelessness or who are in this like transitional crisis point, and you know, I know I've been there um, before, and I know. So many of us have faced that where, you know, you have to move and you're looking at this uh, burden of coming up with first, last, and a deposit. Um, there are programs in other cities and states that actually you can apply for funding and you can get back, um, you can get help. Um, so programs like that could be paid for with linkage fees, right? They could be a no cost uh, program for our city. We need to put everything on the table and, and work together.